So we're going to go, the arm is sort of runs like this, right? Mm -hmm. oh, you want to watch? Oh, you, you're not going to no, be able to. No, I can't to. watch. Yeah, okay. So try to relax, okay? Uh -huh. You're not going to faint on me, right? Yesterday was a different story. Okay, so we're going to make the incision right here, right across the punctum. Right there, that should be great. Maybe just a little bit longer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're making the incision. Good. I like that. That's excellent. Okay. And we'll use the hemostats. I call them hemostats. Is that? Uh, it's a surgical tool. Looks mm -hmm. like this. Do you want to see it? Kind of right. curved. We're going to open up a little bit here, and we can already see some of the cystic material here. All right. And that's very good because that means we got a pretty good shot of getting this sack, right? Yes. Are you feeling anything but pressure? I'm all right. Good. You can always talk to tortilla chips over here if you mm -hmm. need to. She's a big talker, isn't that right, tortilla? Uh-oh. TC. TC. Tortilla Chips. That's her name. It's always been her nickname for a long time. So we're going to give this a little bit of a squeeze. Oh, look at that, guys. That just came out. Uh-oh. One really nice collection right there with the sack and everything right there. It all came out. and There's a little bit of sack. Do you want to see it? Sure. Oh, boy. That's so. Fairly fat. Do you want me to save it? No, mm. you don't want me to save it. Well, I thought I would ask. <laughs> okay, so there is a little more sack in here, but look at this. It's coming right out. So sometimes when these are infected, like when you were dealing with it before, right. it's really difficult to identify the sack for mm -hmm. removal. And right. so no fault to whoever did the procedure no. for you before. Uh, just a really infected... Uh, cyst like that is just nearly impossible to identify and then carefully remove the sac. Yeah, it was bad. And this is rather scarred in there. It's not wanting to come out like they sometimes will do. Mm -hmm. They'll just gently come out. So it's going to require a little more effort. So it has scar tissue too? It does have some scar tissue, yes. Mm -hmm. You feeling that? Yeah. And then in the other direction, there we go. And hopefully that'll help prevent any more discomfort. We'll give it just a moment. All right. There we go. Good. So you asked about swimming this weekend for uh -huh. Memorial Weekend, right? right? Right. So what was your question? Could you swim this weekend, I think, was your question, mm -hmm. wasn't it? And the answer is no. We really don't want you to swim in any kind of public swimming pool, uh, swimming pool or facility of any kind for uh, due to risk of infection, okay? All right. It doesn't mean you can't get this wet. Mm -hmm. um, so getting it wet is actually going to be okay. There's going to be some sutures in there. No big deal with that. But getting into a pool, uh, even if it's chlorinated, uh, it is going to give you more of an infection risk. Uh -huh. And that's really not necessary. So let's not do that, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't need to be back in here next week, huh? Nope. And we're coming right out there. See that? Mm -hmm. And this is what you have to do when you're removing these. Just take your time, guys, and really do your best to get the sack out. I had a patient who came back in for a visit the other day, and we had removed one uh, on her neck uh, oh. some time ago, several years ago. Yeah. And I got to tell you, we could not even see the scar. It was really yeah. fantastic. She was so happy with it. There we go. That is the rest of our sack right there. Okay, you want to see right there? Mm. Okay. Sandy, Sandy Clay, you've been mm -hmm. such a sport. Thank you so really? much for letting us uh, video Thank your you. little procedure for our friends on YouTube and around the world. Do you have any questions? Nope. Comments? Nope. Do you feel much pain? Nope. Just the initial anesthesia, right? Right. Hey folks, are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta7. 
Meta 7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and can use a nice boost, then try Meta 7 today. I can think better and um, Good. all around it's helped me out. Do you feel shaky, jittery, or anything like no, that? No, not at all. Fantastic. It made me feel much better physically and uh, actually mentally. Ever since I started taking it, I have energy throughout the day. I have no problem making it through my runs. Energy all night. I'm in a good mood. Check out the Amazon links in the description below. And you can order today with Amazon Prime.